Well, this one, once again, I mean, we could, we could separate this using the sum of two perfect squares, but um, I don't know. I think in context, it's better just to solve like we would 4x in a normal equation. So by that, I mean that we would want the x squared on its own side of the equal sign. So I'm going to subtract 9 from both sides of the equal sign, giving me x squared equals negative 9. Then if I square root both sides, then I have the absolute value of x equals the square root of negative 9, which would be the same as i times the square root of 9. Square root of 9 is a perfect square. So I have i times 3, but I would rearrange that to be 3i. So yeah, to finish this off, we would need to split this absolute value up into 2, right? We need the positive and negative. So x equals the positive 3i, but x also equals the negative 3i. And since there's nothing more we can operate on here, these two are our final answers. And if we put those values into x in the original equation, it would come out true. A part of that is because, right, if we put, let's just put the positive 3i in this. Since we squared it, we're adding 9. Well, then I've got 9i squared plus 9. And i squared is a negative 1. So plus 9. And yeah, that, that's going to give us a true statement there. And the same thing if the 3 were negative. It's not going to change anything there.